what's going on YouTube, I'm Alex and today I'm taking a look at the wireless uh, keyboard and mouse combo. So this is mostly used for TV boxes, I started using this about a week ago and I'm quite happy with it. This particular one is the RIII8 model, um, if I remember the name correctly. If not, I left uh, the name right there above the video. First of all, this uh, remote control comes in this box right here. Um, a very simple box. Uh, we have some uh, information about it, but it is very simple uh, and easy to use. We also get a small manual. It is completely in English. And uh, again, uh, you have like troubleshooting here and a couple of notes and uh, maintenance. Aside from the manual, we get a USB cable, it's a micro USB cable, so you can basically use your phone's charger uh, with this. This remote is made of plastic entirely and the back seems to be made of some rubberized uh, plastic. It is nice and it doesn't uh, slip out of your hands that easily. Behind this door, the back of the remote, uh, we just have a rechargeable battery and there is another uh, model that actually takes uh, batteries instead of the rechargeable battery. However, this rechargeable battery is so much easier to use um, than any batteries. I have been using the remote for 4 days now and uh, I haven't had to charge it uh, once yet, so the battery will last quite some time. On top here we just have the on off button, I usually leave it on, I never uh, bother turning it off. And this is the USB uh, port for the charger. On the front of the box we just have a little mouse pad, it's very easy to use. So basically if you click on it, it becomes like the left click. If you click with three fingers, uh, it will become the right click. However, we do have the left click and the right click right here and also right here. When the remote is on, this uh, little LED right here, it's on. Uh, right here it will flash uh, when the battery is low and this one uh, here it will show you that uh, an input has been uh, put on the remote. So for example, if I press on this, it will uh, turn on. The buttons are very clicky and very, very easy to use. There are a couple of functions that you'd use if you connect this uh, to a Windows um, computer and stuff like that, but for a TV box uh, you don't really need uh, the added functions. We have a couple of shortcuts uh, right here, so this one um, will open the browser, this one will take you home, this one will open uh, Google Now, this is the mute button, this will open your email and this will open uh, the video player. So it's very very easy to use and uh, very easy to set up. In order to set up the box, you're going to take this uh, from the back of your box. So this is actually sitting behind the battery, right about here. So you're going to take this, take your uh, TV box, plug this in, and that's it. It is set up and you don't actually have to do anything. This is a quick demonstration uh, so I can show you how the remote works. So I have the remote connected to a TV box at the moment. So basically, if the light is on here, uh, it means that the remote is on and it's connected to the USB plugged into the box. So this is the mouse pad right here. And if you look on the screen, uh, you're going to see that uh, basically whatever you do on the pad, uh, it's going to show up onto the screen. If you press onto the pad, it acts as a click. So if you press with three fingers, it acts as a back button. You do have these buttons right here on the left hand side and uh, they do the exact same thing. We have a couple of buttons right here on top so if we press the email one uh, the email app will pop up onto the screen so whatever you have uh, set up will open. If you press uh, this internet uh, button right here basically the browser or the come on whatever the browser uh, is that you have set up onto the box. Typing on the remote is also very simple. To scroll up and down basically you're just gonna hold two fingers onto the pad and you can scroll up and down very easily. 
with the home button from on top here uh, you basically go back to your home screen so to whatever launcher you have set the search button on top here uh, will open uh, google now if you have it set up on the box or uh, whatever you're using the volume up and down will just turn up and down the volume uh, onto your device so very straightforward as well this remote doesn't have to be pointed directly at the tv box so you can use it pretty much anywhere behind the box in another room but within a 10 meter range i found that uh, it works the best if you have a tv box i do suggest uh, getting one of these it is extremely easy to use and uh, it makes the experience uh, on the tv box so much better thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe